Vincent, aka Alex Lowe. I did pretty much everything. I was writer, director, uh, camera guy, light guy. Uh, I even got shot briefly. Um, I think I count as producer as well, although most of the film was funded by whatever was in the bottom of my closet, so I, I think you could count me as producer. I'm Calvin Norwood, and in the film Call of the Wind, I played Arnold J. Wilson, the bad guy. Really, really bad guy. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Five aces. I did some slate stuff, and I did some like camera holding and stuff like that. Uh, my name is John Lowe. I played Sheriff Peabody in the film. You want to whistle my Dixie? Also did occasional slate work and helped with the setup of some of the scenes and, and lugged a few of the camera pieces around. You all got an extra seat? <laughs> Looks like one just opened up. Favorite thing was probably when we were doing uh, like rapid fire uh, slap takes and uh, like, we did like five or six slaps and then five or six times when Calvin was like and zoom in and trying to get the perfect zoom that was pretty fun and, and silly. What a savage outlaw gotta do to get a drink around here! What I liked about the film and production was I felt like I was really on a real film. Like it was professionally done. Uh, it was with people that I knew, even in some cases kids that I taught. But the whole thing really felt smooth. It felt organized. It felt uh, professional. Um, it, it was really cool to be a part of it from the, the background so I could see how it was done. Um, and then what direction it was going when the final product came around. It was easy to see why certain decisions were made. So being a part of it from the ground up, I thought was really, really cool. Allo asked last minute saying, hey, we need someone else, you want, you want in? I took off of work to, be, to do the first day of shooting. It was worth it. <laughs> um, and even if uh, one of my things I do want to be is an actor, so. Get it! I enjoyed the people. The people were really fun. The scheduling was very like relaxed. It didn't feel like uh, you had to be up at six in the morning. We ended like the time just changed everything, and it wasn't rushed. It was just relaxed, and the people were fun to hang out with. So what made me want to be a part of this production was I was told to do it uh, by my teachers at my school. Uh, I didn't have much of a choice. Um, but I'm glad they did because I don't think I would have done it if they had not kind of made me do it. And I, I, I wish I could show it in its uh, entirety, but you know, it's a little too long. Being able to see behind the scenes of, of like production and also just messing around with the cast and seeing what kind of ad-libs made it into the final cut was pretty fun. Funny story, so that uh, death scene of me dying off screen, that came from my f***ed up head. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, I'm very satisfied with the outcome, uh, especially, again, I keep harping on this, but being a part of it uh, from the ground up, you see, when you see the final production, okay, this is why we did this. Okay, that's why I read from that angle. Okay, this is why he was accentuating that uh, portion. And you see, this is what he was going for. And, um, and when you see it all put together like that, it's, it's very satisfying. Some funny memories were, I know like a couple times I screwed up a line, I said something similar to it and it wasn't exactly the right one. And <laughs> Zeke line about Selling corn cracked me up because Zeke. Zeke's just 
basically a quiet guy, and for some reason he and him talk about corn so like calmly. You know, I was like, we need more lines out of Zeke. And so it's just like, you know, dude, like talk about something right to, to talk talk about corn. And then, you know, I pan across him and he delivers that corn line and we all just started cracking up for the next ten minutes. You guys like corn? Any uh, corn people around? <laughs> Uh, there's a line where um, Arnold Wilson, the bad guy, uh, is inviting Sheriff Peabody, who was me, to uh, to be part of the game, the card game. And he warns me that I'm going to get... Get your plot clean. And uh, at one point, <laughs> he mis misread it and said I was going to get my cock cleaned. Feel free to play, Sheriff, but I'm going to warn you, if you do, you get your cock. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody busted up laughing, and of course, that really opened the door for penis jokes for the rest of the production. He's my gun safety boy. He doesn't put his finger on the trigger till the very final scene. I think you should go watch the film and check it out because it's really cool. And, I mean, what else are you doing? <laughs> uh, if you ever like Blazing Saddles, if you like Mel Brooks, if you like making fun of things and yet seeing things that are kind of realistic at the same time, uh, if you have a good sense of humor, you're going to enjoy this film. Go watch it. You should watch it because if you don't watch it, Rumor has it you may get various types of diseases, including the new strain of hepatitis. Watch it now. Go watch it. It's Oscar-nominated worthy.